Good evening and welcome to the programme. I'm Victoria Hollins. When parts of London were destroyed by rioting three years ago, people living there were promised money to help rebuild. But today it's been revealed that less than a fifth of the £70 million earmarked to regenerate the area has actually been spent. The figures are in a report by the London Assembly, the body which holds the mayor to account. But City Hall says the money has been allocated and infrastructure projects take time to be completed. Tara Welsh has been to Tottenham where the disturbances began. It's lunchtime at the Victoria, but business is far from booming. Rewind three years and it was much busier, despite being looted, as the Mayor and Eric Pickles made an announcement here about funding for areas hit by the riots. Nine boroughs were given money, but of the 20 million Haringey was allocated, so far only 22% of that has been spent. Even 20% I'd like to know where it has gone. We don't see anything different around here. Of the £70 million available, 12.7 has been spent so far. We're told £25 million will be spent next year, still leaving more than £31 million, although the money is already earmarked for projects. Is that there's been a bit of a lag. I mean, this week is three years since the riots occurred, um, and 84% of the money has still not yet been spent. Um, that needs addressing soon. We are sure by the Mayor's office it will be, uh, but that's something they need to urgently address now. The Mayor's office says this funding was never meant to be a quick fix and that actually to regenerate an area it takes time. They've used the improvements to Tottenham Hale Station as an example. They say funding was put in here and that attracted private money. But they say infrastructure projects like this can't be completed overnight. And some money has been spent. This place was burnt out three years ago. The funding means it's now a community centre and offers start-ups reduced rents. Um, it's been vital. I think in terms of us, it's, it's helped us develop this centre. We have about 25 businesses operating out of here. Weekay says it's vital for his online magazine. I would have been back at home on my laptop in my room or something, still kind of like uploading content onto the site, which is very unprofessional when you've got certain type of um, meetings. Do you know? But his local MP says the rest of the area is still suffering. There are shopkeepers. I was with a post office worker today complaining about the pressures on his business as a result of the riots. There are homeowners still struggling, unemployment still high in many of those areas. There's real need. That money needs to be spent. Many think this area has improved since these scenes three years ago. Others say change isn't coming quickly enough. Tara Welsh, BBC London News. Lots more to come tonight, including 